Beautiful. Beautiful, really? <laughs> Not you. No. Hey guys, what's going on? Tour crews here checking in with and as you can see, we are not in Thailand anymore. Where are we, Tuan Chan? Danang. We're in Danang. Yeah, Vietnam. In Vietnam, Tuan's hometown. Yes. Uh, not hometown. No, not hometown. Home country. Yeah, home country. Yeah. So we finally made it, guys. We're here. And more importantly, our bikes are here. We've got Tuan's bike. We've got my bikes. And we actually came here with four bikes. If you saw our last video, we made it here safely carrying four bikes, two suitcases, and two backpacks. And we finally unpacked all our bikes, got everything ready. Unfortunately, the weather hasn't been that great here since we moved here. Um, it's been raining constantly for the first two, three days. And this is our first escape from the rain. It's still really cloudy. It was raining this morning, but we're gonna take it because we're excited to finally go out and go for a ride. And our bikes mostly came in unscathed. Uh, our folding bikes, we went for a little shopping ride yesterday. They worked fine. My bike seems to be okay. We just started our ride, so we haven't had any problems yet. Unfortunately, Tung's bike did get a little bit of a scratch. Yes. Yes. So we did have one unfortunate mark here. Uh, I think the way the handlebars were folded in. I'm guessing it was maybe this mount was uh, scratched on here, so we should have took that off, unfortunately. I'm hoping this is just a cosmetic scratch. It looks like that. We're still seeing just the white. So I think it's just the, the paint for the most part. Hopefully it's not a carbon crack. Otherwise though, our bikes seem to be in one piece. And let's go ahead and get started with today's ride. Let's go. Let's go. So we're starting here along the beach. Danang is a beach town. So just, yeah, miles and miles of sandy beach coast. Check out these massive waves. We're going to be riding north today, just along the coast for a nice, easy, I think, two hour ride today, just to get back into the groove of riding on the bikes. So there's actually this really cool, like, walking path here and running path. I guess you can cycle on there, but we're going to be cycling on the main road here and lots of bikes coming by. So you want to be careful. And here we go. This is going to be one of our regular cycling routes moving forward. Beautiful coastline views, beautiful palm trees. Excited to try this out on a sunny day. And yeah, nice two lane road here. Not too busy of traffic. The cars hopefully will be taking the, the left side. We'll have some bikes go by us, but that's okay. Oh man, we got the speed bumps here. We got the durian, just like Thailand. Oh, we got cobbles too. I imagine it's just like this for the, the more touristy area with access to the beach. I think it smooths out once you get a little bit away from here. And oh yeah, it feels so good to be back on a road bike. So we went to Kaze Bikes about a week and a half ago, I think, to box these up. So that's a solid week and a half where we haven't gotten much cycling exercise. We've been traveling. We've done a few casual folding bike rides, but that's about it. Nothing compares to a real nice solid road ride. And the other great thing right now is this weather. Uh, you'll notice I'm wearing long sleeves. It's like 22 degrees Celsius right now. So it's perfectly comfortable. Um, if I were doing a hard interval ride, I could still ride short sleeves, but we're just doing a nice casual spin, get used to the bikes, make sure everything's working, learn our way around town. And yeah, it is comfy. I will take this cool weather, even this cloudy weather, I don't mind it. I don't want the rain, but cloudy weather's fine. Cloudy and cool, and it's a little bit windy. So it's awesome compared to like the 37 degrees Celsius weather we had in Chiang Mai. Let's ask Chun Chan, what does she like? Do you like hot weather or this weather? You like this weather? Yeah, because when I cycling my bike, I feel hot more, I feel hot. Oh, you can get warm when you cycle? Yes. Yeah, and not too much sweat? I say on Marina. But uh, yeah, check out this view. We got these palm trees here. We've got these giant hotels, beach hotels. This is our new home for now. We're gonna be, yeah, living here for a couple months, testing it out, testing out some different areas. Uh, right now, we're just staying at a temporary hotel. We're gonna be cycling around, looking out some different neighborhoods. 
try and figure out where we want to live here. Uh, so this is the east side, or east-like peninsula area. And yeah, it's the beach area. It's where a lot of the foreigners come to live. And it's where most of the cycling will be done, starting on this road. So um, that's a nice thing about living over here. We don't care so much for the beach. We're not going to go swimming very often, but it is nice to look at. And it's nice being close to like the cycling route or being in a safer area to start our ride so we don't have to ride through city traffic too much. And if you go over to the west over that way, you cross the bridge and you go into the city and it's a little bit busier, it's a bit livelier. So things are a little more exciting over there. It's more like real Vietnamese kind of city. And yeah, it might be nice to go over that to get that experience like we're living in real Vietnam, not like in this beach paradise area. So I don't know. We, we kind of want to try living in both. So we'll see what happens. Oh wow, she had her dog in her basket. That was awesome. I really want to do that one day, like have a nice fun dog that just goes for me on my rides. So hopefully we can do that once we find our nice home to settle down in. But yeah, if you've stayed here in Da Nang before and you have a recommended area for living and why you like that area, let us know in the comments. We're open to suggestions. We, we're really new. We haven't, <laughs> we don't know much about here, honestly. But yeah, check out all these massive buildings. These are huge. The other cool thing, we're going north. There's a couple of mountains up here. Uh, one is the Monkey Mountain Island or Monkey Island Peninsula. And the other one is the Haivan Pass, which is like the two big popular climbs here. I don't think they're quite as big as Doi Sutep, which we were doing in Chiang Mai, but they're pretty close. I think about 500 meters of elevation gain as opposed to Doi Sutep, which is like 700. So it's a solid Cat 2-ish level climb. I'm pretty excited to go try it out, but my fitness has dropped a lot this last month with uh, getting the COVID vaccine booster and just preparing for all the traveling. My riding volume's down a lot. My training's been down a lot. I've had a lot of off days. So time to build up the fitness again. And yeah, so far this road, perfectly comfy. The only thing is there's a decent amount of bikes, but we're going pretty slow right now. If we're going at normal, like training pace, I feel it'll be even better. So yeah, let's pick up the pace <laughs> discreetly with Chun Chan behind. Thankfully, the wind's not too bad today. The wind was crazy yesterday. It was like typhoon level winds. Today, it's pretty, it's a little windy, but it's not bad. You just feel it a little bit. And as always, if you want to follow along our ride on Strava, I'll leave the link down below in the video description. You can check that out if you want to see exactly where we're going. Here we go. Got another beach here, beach soccer. People coming to hang out. Those waves are just massive though. Beautiful. Beautiful, really? <laughs> Not you. Oh. Tung is also pretty excited to go fishing here. We've been, <laughs> she's been waiting to go fishing with me for a long time. And yeah, there's pretty much no excuses here. There's so many places where I think we can get some fishing done. And there's a lot of fresh fish kind of restaurants here, fish markets. So Tung's gonna be in heaven. She loves her seafood. And there's a couple different beaches here. So this one, we're going north and south. If you go south on this road, it goes straight down to Hoi An. I think it's like a 40 kilometer ride or so. We actually did that ride before, a couple years ago on the Tuo Cruise channel. When we were just starting out the channel, we came here for a vacation right before we got married. And uh, there's a whole video about it. You can if you don't mind the old bad quality of our videos. It's pretty funny. We cycled down to Hoi An on some rental cheap like Mama Cherry bikes. I got food poisoning and Tung had to tow me back the whole way. I had no power. I couldn't push the pedals. I could barely just sit on the bike. So I was just holding on to her and she pulled me all the way back on the crappy bikes. And yeah, I had to stop like every few kilometers to just yeah, pardon my language, but yeah, I had to throw up on the side of the road. It was not a fun experience. But Tung was a beast. A beast tow truck. 
and I'm pretty excited to be doing these rides now on road bikes. This is our very first ride in Vietnam on road bikes. So I consider this my, like our first real bike ride here. Cause we've, we came here before, we rented some like mountain bikes, uh, some city bikes, like not the greatest quality of bikes. And most of them were too small. So this is our first time on proper bikes, our size. And yeah, I can't wait. There's so much riding I want to do here. And hopefully we can meet some people in the cycling community here. There was a ride we were invited to yesterday, but just with the rain, it got canceled. So hopefully we can join some group rides soon. And I'm really excited for Tung to have people to ride with. So I really hope there's a decent group of like some female riders here so she can have some friends to ride with and she can talk to them. There were a lot of female riders in Thailand, in Chiang Mai, but she doesn't speak Thai, <laughs> they don't speak English, so it's not too great when you can't communicate with each other. And here we go, this is the Monkey Peninsula. Really cool area, some really steep climbs there. I'm pretty excited to, to check some of those out. We could also potentially like rent a house out here, which would be awesome because it's really cheap. We get a lot of space and we'd be away from everything. Like you can see, there's not too much out here, like restaurants or things to do. But I mean, we do a lot of food delivery. We don't go out to party <laughs> that often and we can just ride the city bikes into town or take a grab if we need to. It might be tempting to stay over here. Just you get the nice space, you're close to the mountains and you're close to two mountain routes. So you can go to Hai Van Pass over that way, or you can do the Monkey Mountain or Monkey Peninsula over here. Check out these boats. So yeah, for the most part, it's riding here is pretty much the same as riding in Thailand, I think. Only there's a lot more bikes here. Um, more people breaking the rules like going the opposite side like that but they do that in Thailand too and they beep their horns here which actually is a little bit safer I think because um, it just allows you to know where everyone is it's kind of like using echolocation you just hear the sounds around you so you know if there's a bike approaching you it's annoying <laughs> don't get me wrong it's very annoying but it's not too bad it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be and yeah for filming these videos maybe it'll be annoying for you guys too so sorry about that but hopefully we'll find some more quiet areas with less traffic and yeah we can get some nice peaceful rides going the other thing that's really nice here is the canopies uh, this is a wider road so you don't see it too well but the narrow like roads here in vietnam they're just fully covered in beautiful trees they really preserve their trees in the main city areas and it's just beautiful so we'll hopefully be able to show you guys that pretty soon. I'm not sure exactly where we need to turn here. I'm gonna try to pull up the map. Okay. So if we keep going this way, we're gonna get onto the peninsula. Yeah, let's try getting on the peninsula really quick. So I wasn't planning on doing this loop, but I was planning to go to the other beach first, but might as well go over here, check it out. I think there's some hills over here too. Oh yeah, our first little hill. There's the Lady Buddha guys. So the entrance to this section right away, you get in some rollers, nothing too big, but definitely feeling it compared to the, the flats before here. And now I'm regretting my choice of wearing the long sleeve jersey. Uh, you get hot pretty quickly once you start climbing beautiful views all around it's so nice to to finally get a break from the rain and we can we can see pretty far we get some nice views around here i'm not sure the official name it's like called monkey peninsula or something like that and there's a lot of monkeys over here i remember when we came back here the last time we were on the the moped and we saw a bunch of monkeys so hopefully we'll find some today who knows though i don't think we're gonna branch off the main roads too much 
this time. Here we go. There's the monkeys. And we get a nice view here. Check this out. There's our new home. There's some massive mountains over there behind the city too. We're gonna have to do some rides over to the west. Very cool. This is a photo spot. And yeah, we just get to ride along the coastline here. So sick. Decent shoulder too. And I don't think, yeah, there's too much car traffic over here. This is the entrance to the, the Lady Buddha area. I remember that entrance is also really steep. We barely got up it on the motorbikes. <laughs> Did you miss climbing, Tung? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Check this out. This reminds me of our old Taiwan trip when we cycled along the east coast of Taiwan. Just beautiful, massive mountains all along the coast. Beautiful ocean views. And yeah, it's like beach, sandy beach over here too. So we continued on with our ride, exploring some other parts of the city, the north side, the big bridge over the north side. That thing is massive. It feels like you're climbing over a mountain. And yeah, the city side on the other side, you can see this video. Um, I'm doing an overlay right now, but this is crazy busy. This is the true Vietnam. We decided to take some back roads on the way back in a different route. And it is completely different than the nice straight like beach roads and highway roads like this. These are pretty nice when you're on, like even these main highways, you just gotta be careful with these bikes. Some of them drive really slow for some reason and some of them go the opposite direction. The other cool thing here is these roundabouts. There's a ton and ton and ton of roundabouts here, but they don't work like they do in the US. Like in the US, the people who are already in the roundabout have the right of way, but here it doesn't matter. The biggest vehicle has the right of way. So if a big truck just bombs into it and you're already in the circle, you got to yield to it. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty successful first ride here, I think. And nice mix of just beautiful secluded areas, no cars and some nice hills and rollers and some really crazy busy areas that I probably don't want to ride a road bike again. The folding bike would probably be okay for the city riding. And yeah, I think for the most part, we're going to stick on these main highways and the beach roads and then the more excluded areas. Probably not going to ride the road bikes much through the city. That's not too fun, especially busy times of the day. Um, but yeah, the, the grid here is really easy to follow. A lot of the roads are straight and perpendicular. And man, that wind is picking up again pretty harsh. So we got about two hours in today. A couple of rain clouds, a little bit of sprinkles here and there. And Hopefully this weather clears up so we can get you some nice, beautiful, sunny footage here, cycling in beautiful Da Nang, Vietnam. 
Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, there's the big beep for Vietnam. <laughs> we want to say a special thank you to all of our awesome supporters over on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for your support. And also a big thank you to our sponsors as well. A big thank you to Kaze Bikes for packing these bikes up for us so we could bring them over here. And we're so pumped to have some nice road bikes here, some nice roads for riding. And yeah, we're excited to share that with you guys. That's it for today's video though, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.